Unless a new deal is struck in St. Louis County, teachers needing time off for COVID-19 related reasons will have to use their regular days off. Special COVID-19 leave that's part of a federal law expires at the end of the year. News 4 Jacks reporter Joe McLean is joining us now with what this means for teachers. Joe. Mary, this could be a problem for teachers who might become exposed or contract the virus over Christmas break or later in the spring. It's because the emergency leave for the Federal Coronavirus Act ends on December 31st, but students in St. John's County return on the 4th. So if a teacher has to quarantine during break or after break ends, they're going to have to start the new year without those emergency leave benefits. On the final day before Christmas break, St. John's County teachers got an email from Superintendent Tim Forsen. Subject line, important notice. It said that as of December 31st, the section of the Family First Coronavirus Response Act that allowed for emergency paid leave will expire. Forsen said, quote, therefore, starting January 4th, 2021, if an employee has to be out of work due to a COVID related matter, he or she will need to utilize their accrued leave for such absence. That includes teachers waiting for COVID test results, those having to quarantine because of a close contact, or those who get the virus themselves. It could also impact teachers who can't report to campus because they have to care for children whose daycare was closed. Michelle Dillon heads the St. John's Education Association. Well, that is a legitimate fear. If through some reason you've burnt through your own sick time and then, as I said, through no fault of your own, have multiple exposures and are directed to quarantine, you could be looking at an unpleasant financial situation, and that's what we want to avoid. Dylan said the hope is to sit down with district leaders in January to figure out a solution for teachers to still have access to some form of emergency leave. I know that we will be able to sit down with our district, district and union, and do some good faith negotiations to provide some sort of extension. I do not know what that will look like, but I know that we'll be able to sit down with the district. Earlier this month, Duval County School Board agreed to let employees use whatever emergency paid leave they still have under the federal act, a move that could cost the district an estimated $1.1 million in the second half of the school year. Dylan said there's no meeting scheduled yet, but she hopes to get those talks underway uh, as soon as school resumes on January 4th. We've also reached out to Clay and Nassau County districts for their plans. We're still waiting to hear back.